Orchid Chan my Orchid Channel, Cars Orchids. Yeah, I'm making a bun dough. It's a sweet dough. Look, now it's finished. Yeah, it's been in bar, been processed for about 10 to 15 minutes. It should be a little bit sticky when it's done, but it shouldn't stick to your hands or fingers. Yes? So this is a perfect, perfect dough. Another um, very important secret is that it shouldn't add on the salts before all of the rest of the ingredients are in there. That's when you add in the salts. Yes. Otherwise, it will inhibit the uh, fermentation of the dough, so to speak. <laughs> if that's the right word, I'm not sure. So, I'm not used to baking terms in English, so, uh, well, I hope you're going to forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, and when the buns, the round buns, are done, baked and ready, they are going to be filled up with a good almond filling, almond pulp, over here. Yeah. Well, dilute it a bit with some cloudy apple, <laughs> lemonade, concentrate, yeah. Not to make it far too chubby and drier. Yeah? And a little bit of um, sugar. And some mixed almonds, which are roasted as well. So this pastry is going to be delicious. And this pastry we always eat a lot of. Uh, yeah, from New Year nowadays until April, perhaps. As long as people crave them, they are going to sell them in the stores. Yeah? So we're going to bring these guys to our annual meeting tomorrow at the Orchid Society. I've been secretary for at least a more than eight years now. And, uh, well, I've been doing quite a lot of other stuff. I've been vice chairman as well for the last two years, but uh, holding a couple of meetings as well. So, well, yeah, I can, can do that if they want me. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Let's hope it's going to be a good meeting. But in order for it to be a great meeting, I, uh, I thought of an idea to add on another activity at the meeting. A small orchid auction. So I have a couple of orchids, which I'm going to bring with me. These, for example, are going to be sold at the auction. BLC, Golden Cell. When I split it up into one... Uh, this one is starting to... Uh, root itself somewhere. I didn't have any roots at all so a couple of months ago. It's still looking great. Not dehydrated by any means. It's still a good division I think. Um, let's see now. Here's another division from the very same plant. New growth there. That one is kind of sort of new as well. Uh, well, not much of a root system yet. But when we can see life, we can also see hope. So, number two, the same kind. Here's number three, golden cell. Yeah. <laughs> I was generous enough to uh, add on a bit of Spanish moss, but <laughs> look where it went. Anyways, this one I'm not so sure. That one doesn't look dehydrated either. So, three of those. Here's another one, a little division of the, uh, the Cleophobia, a Doiana hybrid from Orchid Garden. A little back bulb division, you can see, new growth there, tiny little new growth, but there's going to be some new roots along with that growth. So it's a cute little plant. Here's a little Miltonia sunset, one of the uh, six divisions. <laughs> I still got a quite huge division in spike, so I thought I'd keep that one for myself. But so this one I do not need anymore. Here's another one, a little back bulb division. Yeah, maybe I should rewrite the tag. Uh, it's a Cattleya hybrid. Yeah, good root system. <laughs> yeah, I misjudged it a bit. <laughs> Put a new growth to the back. <laughs> I didn't know where it would. Uh, appear so well, they can always report it. The ones who want to, I mean, bite this orchid is the 
failing off this joy fairy tale caloric. Yeah, my old one rotted all of a sudden. And this bloom on time, on schedule every year, orchid suddenly decided to rot. So I want this one. Uh, Why? Well, yeah, I think I, I got it at an auction. But now it's the fourth time it spikes and it blasts its flowers, its buds all of the time. So down you go. The other one didn't, never failed. I better get a new one with more luck. This is my uh, second division of uh, Miltonia Sunset. Yeah, I got an even larger one, as I said, in bud in my room. So this one is going. Yeah, and this is the uh, BLC. Cornerstone fine circle. Away you go. Nothing happened for four years. I'm tired of you. Off to somebody else. Here's the uh, Gidlia Fabia from Lucke. The free plant, as I got a free sample from Lucke. This is a back bulb of it, so it's not dead by any means. It's just quite big. <laughs> so I needed to take off the back part. So there's a little back bulb division. And the last one, off to the auction. Uh, a little piece of my Maxillaria tenifolia <laughs> fell off, so all the way you go. And this is the uh, Oncidium Minsterland. I, 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 I don't fancy it. I got another one. A smaller one, but this one I... No. I don't like it. Some orchids you just don't like. I don't know why. I don't have any feeling for it. So I... I'm keeping my old one, my smaller one, so off you go to the auction. So, that's what's going to happen. And in there, the buns are ready. Looking, woo, hot. Looking hot, no? Yeah, they do look hot. They look very great. It smells heavenly. So, yeah, it's my day today. Hope it's going to be my day tomorrow as well, at the meeting. Yeah, time for the next little tray look. Oh, huh. little egg, water, and salt. Careful, careful. So they do not pop <laughs> down just like a balloon. Yeah. Happens very, very quickly. So, shouldn't be too harsh on them. So, my little contribution for the annual meeting. Uh, why not? It's going to be tasty. Yeah. Well, yay. Today's Saturday morning. Oh, well. Noon. <laughs> to be <laughs> correct. Um, I, uh, I couldn't find the right English phrase for it, but I'm standing in the middle of the selection and qualification. <laughs> That's Google Translate for Ivalet or Kvalet. So, to split this orchid up and bring her <laughs> with me to the society. Oh, Elsie Orglaze Grand. Yeah. She's lovely, but it's really not much left room here for her to grow on. And up here, either, it's a heavy, heavy load pot, heavy load orchid. And it seems like she's been dividing herself into a couple of sections. So, um, well, maybe I need to divide her. And after that, hurry up into my car <laughs> and squeeze the accelerator. <laughs> well, crucial moment. <laughs> how to start? You know how much this one weighs. Yeah? I don't even think the scale will do. And this is uh, around 10 kilos. Oh, Lord. Let us see. 5.5. 5. All right, all right, all right. Felt heavier. <laughs> but it's still enough. A little bit too much. So let's bring her out. Don't mess about with the scale. <laughs> I'm just nervous, I believe. You're out. I'll see. Oh man, A huge of an orchid, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. 
going to be an easy task for me today. Let us clean no um, dead roots. And she really is in sections, you can see, arranged in sections. This part I can easily remove. This part as well. So let us decide which part is going to be the best part. Of course, I'm going to keep it for myself. But um, as you can see, she's, she's been growing her leaves smaller and smaller at a time. At one point, the width of the leaf was just like the palm of my hand. She's really yeah, declining in a way. Doesn't look bad or anything, but uh, she's not doing better. She's not approaching uh, <laughs> uh, blooming, so to speak. But you go the other way, larger and larger leaves, and then suddenly blooms will appear. Now, I don't think so. Very, very rarely occurring. But a smaller, tinier section will decide to bloom instead of the larger one, if you see what I mean. Uh, you can see there's a sheath in there. Yeah, it appeared two years ago. So, this section. I, I think I need to cut off um, stripes, as I call them. Here. Before I proceed, this is a good section, isn't it? Could be a very, very good cut here. They say no less than five pseudobulbs. But yeah, I <laughs> I don't always follow that rule <laughs> myself, but if I can, why not? So uh, I wouldn't want to cut two, uh, I mean, Let's see it now. Yeah, too uh, close to uh, to the pseudobulb. I want to separate because it will easily split, and that one will become a single one. So a bit more to this direction. Leaf. Uh, that one. So Ooh, clean. Yeah, I think it's a little clean cut. Really, really clean cut. And for me, well, let's tag the roots up a bit and see. Not fiercely, but yeah, just pick a bit. <laughs> and they will loosen the grip, yeah, quite easily. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yay. So, no fusarium. That ugly fungus disease will just be like a uh, little plug. No way, you can get water, but you shall not let it go up into the orchid. So that one will benefit. No, 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 no. That one will wrinkle, shrivel up and die eventually. So no ugly ring, purple ring around it to the edges. So that's great, at least, but you can tell, nothing wrong with this section. It's a beautiful orchid, all right? So, still, this is what we're left with. The oldest part, yes, it's one part, one division. Yeah, what would that one do? You can see, still a couple of viable roots, but uh, yeah. This section doesn't look all that, well, it's all right, but it's got ugly markings to it. Could be happy sap. Um, could be thrips. But what do I want to do, yeah? The oldest part, it's an always. The strongest one, so this part should be it. If I split her, she will put out new Shoot, new growth to that somewhere here. And this one, depending on how many roots, viable roots she's got, I mean, she could perform again 
It's not wrinkled. It's looking kind of alright. But this part is better. So what to do, yeah? I'm not certain. Not at all. But she grows in two directions and, well... It's still a very, very wide plant. And yeah, this one I do not really like. This leaf. This is better. Let us see if she's got anything going. Yeah, you can see. There will be some new stuff. This little ugly thingy. Nah. I don't want to keep. Strange. But I will not. So. That one is a much more vigorous one. You can see. It's going to be too new growth from her. Nothing from that one. It will only make the plant look ugly. So that's what I cut it. Um, but she's still a bit too wide. And it's not going to be much coming from the back bulbs. Will it? They will only rivel up. Become more wrinkled. Look more ugly. And make the plant wide. So. I shall remove a bit of the older kings. Yes. We'll make this another section. At least she's not, she's not full of scale anymore. That period's over. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this part. Yeah. Even though this part looks better. <laughs> it's a natural dividing point here, as you can see. So. It's done. Oh, yeah. Certainly is. End of no return. So, let's see if we got any roots left to this part, or if I was just dreaming. Yeah, not much to write home about, is it? So, uh, this part is off to somebody else, yeah. But uh, it's uh, it's um, it's kind of great since most part of the members of the Orchid Society are not keeping their orchids in semi-hydroponics, so uh, it wouldn't be uh, that much of a deal for them to maintain them now, with new roots coming and all, which there will be. Good thing is such a plump orchid, such a plump division, good looking leaves, so she still carries a bit of stored energy. For somebody who would like to uh, cherish her, I'm gonna clean her off. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put them together. That direction it shall grow. There. Into the middle. Most part into the middle, so she won't become a far too uh, wide growing plant. Yes. To the middle and to the side. To the front side, so to speak. Will be nothing here, perhaps. <laughs> here, there's gonna be something, so yeah. Just like this. And now she's a more uh, accommodating plant for me. For now. Another point, I might separate the two divisions here and sell them. But not today. It's only going to be the older section that's going to be put up on the auction without roots, yeah? So, so I'm going to rinse the roots, which are obviously not alive, and find a little, little smaller pot for her, yeah? Well, I guess I didn't switch off the fan throughout the whole session here. Sorry. That's a little problem with my new setup here. The fan up there, you can see to the left. It's quite noisy, yeah. Was down there, uh, pumping, circulating the water before. It didn't really sound that much. Well, make that much noise. But I, I could have remembered to switch it off, but I didn't. Sorry. I will think about it in the future. Yeah, two good pieces. At least, ready for being 
put into some hydrogen. Yes. Growth here, growth there, growth everywhere. As you can see, it's a very, very vigorous one, this orchid. To the large section, uh, division, growth here, growth there, there. And, um, yeah, no, yeah, that's about it. So this is going to be a widely spread orchid if I put them that way. But if I choose to put this lot into the little gap here, this new one will grow in there, hopefully into the little gap. Yes? That's my thought. So I'm going to tie them onto each other. Time over the rhizome, that is. I'm trying to um, <clears throat> do something to keep them in place and steady in place. No. Okay. Yeah, please to stick together. It's enough, it's enough. Yes. All right. A bit smaller one. If compared to this one, now I'm going to save up a lot of space. Well, there's going to be a setback. <laughs> Two years. We'll postpone its blooming. But actually, it's not blooming, so it really doesn't matter, does it? So, now I can put her to the middle, and she's still going to have a lot of space to grow to the sides. But with all this lot coming, it's not going to be a very, very long time setback for her. In case the roots decide to die off thoroughly here. Yeah. Doesn't make a difference. Next time I make a clean up on her, I probably will be able to split her up into two sections again and maybe sell the porous one. <clears throat> Yeah, for a section. <laughs> no, I wouldn't sell bad stuff, but you see my point. Of course I want it. It's only natural that I want to keep the best section for myself, yeah. So, now it's time for the wick to uh, be placed in an appropriate place. So, it won't be visible to the eye. Say that I'm I'm satisfied. I'm really really happy with the results. And there's a quite high reservoir to this one, so uh, she will be properly hydrated. The so quick, yeah. All right, we need a whole bunch of gravel on top. So the surface won't dry out far too quick. And it separates itself from the lecker beads quite easily. Due to weight, of course. The difference in weight. <laughs> yeah? Alright. Now, staking is really needed. And I also need to whip the cream, so, yeah. For the pastries. But I, I yeah, I think there's, that didn't take long. That long. So, yes, little cuties. Yeah, I'll try, I'm, I'm trying to learn to like them, yeah? The small ones. So try. <laughs> Give them them cute names. Yeah, we'll make, we'll change my opinion about them. The small, tiny, ugly looking canes. But yeah, 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 yeah. It works. Mentally, it works. <laughs> But I do have a shed load of lovely species orchids really growing on nicely. It's going to be a, a whole bunch of lovely growing species declares in the very same window or such in the future. So I really need space. I cannot accommodate this, um, this, 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 um, terribly, uh, Huge Kitleas anymore. Have a lot of other Kitleas to consider as well. That's where I wanna. 
That's where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see. <laughs> Much easier to accommodate. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. The space this one took. Great. Now I can use for two good layers to grow on nicely. I don't even recognize the plant. Yeah. Yeah. All that's left to be done is to fill up the water reservoir. Yeah. That's great. after a long day. It, it suddenly dawned on me. I forgot to uh, take a picture of the pastry. Oh! <laughs> I wanted you guys to see it. Shit. So, uh, well, I need to take uh, yeah, a little screenshot of a random one. Yeah. Anyways, it was a success and I was elected chairman. Yeah. I was vice chairman for the last two years and secretary for eight, nine or so. So now it's time for me to become the chairman. That will be fun. Um, a lot of uh, challenges in front of us. Trying to um, make the orchid society grow and make it better and stuff. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't come home empty handed. <laughs> Look. So let us see. What happened? Whoa. What a monster of a plant, isn't it? I can't even see it. Um, let's see. What to compare with, um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, now you can see. That one is a regular Patriopedalum American Hybrid store-bought. Yeah. Now we can see how tall that guy really is. And look at the size of the canes. It's really, really impressive. Some tendencies of 
uh, uh, it wanted to uh, bloom for us, put out spikes. Uh, yeah, it made a cakey. What is it? The one I already got. Dendrobium chrysotoxum. This one is a huge monster. It's been grown intermediate and it's been watered all year round. <laughs> you want me to show you guys my old one from Lucke? I think it's three years ago. About three and a half, could it be? Yeah? Yes, you guys. Here's my old chrysotoxum. The one I decided not to order and treat the traditional way. One yellowing cane. Uh, when it arrived a couple of years ago from Lucke, it had, um, as you can see, the tag, the yellow tag, Lucke, chrysotoxin. It had um, a, <laughs> a severe amount of dried out canes, yeah, similar to this one, even drier in spring. Ah, uh, yeah, I let it stay a bit drier in winter, but not totally bone dry. But this guy, this season, I had him um, in a cooler temperatures. Yeah, as you can see, it's been hidden the uh, the window. It's cold damage. Yes. Oh yeah, doesn't look much for the world. Will it bloom for us when provided low temperatures. It always has been uh, putting out these little bumps. Never created any blooms though. So, well, let's look at the difference. This one has been watered a bit all year round. And it normally blooms, it told me. So, yeah, let's accommodate this monster as well. Maybe that one will be uh, sold or put into a different condition, a different environment, just to see what happens. Yeah? Or maybe a big one into the cabinet with lots of light. Could be a fun project, yes? So, that was the large one. Chrysotoxin. Should be tied up staked perhaps to make it a bit more narrow yeah so i can accommodate it better in the window and that i won't do anything about it i'm just gonna let it sit there for now until of course i see new growth new uh roots uh this one is so funny guys i already have this variety i believe um 100% similar one, but not from the Bush Brothers. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, <laughs> what do you know? Maybe this one is a better one, a bit better. But uh, I believe it's the Munsterland, anyways. But a better, a lot better color to the flowers. Striking yellow. So maybe this one isn't exactly the Munsterland, but yeah, I wouldn't bet on it. Yes. So this one I won at the lottery. Yeah, quite cheap. <laughs> 50 crowns around. Four and a half euro. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And, um, yeah, the other one, uh, the chrysotoxum, I bought at the auction. Yeah. This little fowl. It's gorgeous little ultimate sweetness. Yeah. Oh, cute little package. But uh, it's not the package I'm interested in. It's the orchid itself. This white fowl looks like wild white. One with a trade name, wild white. But uh, I bet it's not, since this one is actually scented. 
And that's strange for being a white fowl. It's scented. And this one is known for creating several uh, fans, yes, small cakes around the mother plant, so to speak. So she can become really, really white. This one is a gorgeous little fowl. The traits are this many a number fans and in conjunction with it being fragrant. Yeah, that's a huge plus, isn't it? Oh yeah, seems pest tree. No ugly mealybugs, which are so, so, so commonly occurring nowadays on store-bought ones. So, good roots. Yeah, could stay in this medium for a bit. Doesn't bother me. And it was a gift for me having the eight J's as a secretary leaving the post. So to speak. Here comes the fun part. Really, really fun part. I'm learning, learning, learning about dendrobiums. And I really, really adore the looks of it. The wild, long cane ones are my favorites. So this one, uh, two guys put out on auction. Yes. We made a little hanger metal hanger to the wooden basket, yeah? I don't know what's in it, but uh, <laughs> who knows what's in it? It's a lovely, lovely set of many wonderful dendrobiums. There's some kind of weed or I'm not sure what it's, yeah, the green stuff growing, perhaps weed. Never mind, it'll look great. Uh, there's a couple of tags in here, but he really didn't know the name of this one in Bud. Yes, but um, there is a, um, a, a, a uh, well, we're not sure. <laughs> but what are we sure of? Um, yeah, this is one is a small a film, <laughs> teeny weeny a film. This part, yes. Um, this is the uh, Lodi Jesse eye underneath that, yes. And I do not know, well, it's to the base of the one in bloom, so uh, it's shooting out cakes at the same time as it's in bloom. I mean, in bud, not bloom. Uh, and one sticking out here. <laughs> Certainly not sure what it is, but um, it's just the bench number one. <laughs> uh, a division from 2022 August. So, well, <laughs> well, I bet I need to uh, see them in bloom before that guy can determine the name, the genus, or species name. Yeah, anyways, this one I got for about 13 euro, so. <laughs> ah, it's adorable. Maybe I should keep it in the cabinet. Hmm, yeah, this thought that crossed my mind. Anyways, I think that would be it for today. It's a kind of sort of long video anyway, so um, thank you guys for joining me. And well, you should talk soon, and I will show you guys this one in bloom. Maybe you can uh, detect the name and give me a, a proper ID for it. Always nice, yeah? Right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.